Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, we are going to explore the topic of gratitude. What do you have in your life right now that you could be grateful for? So we're going to have a look at that. We're going to I'll also do a bit of a general read on these cards as well, just see what the energy is, see what's going on. I've had a very brief look this morning. All three groups looking amazing to me. And I don't have anything in the quote jar today, so what I'm going to do is something I haven't done before. I've got a, a deck of cards, tarot cards, and what I'll do is I'll shuffle a live card uh, for each group and we'll just see what comes in the moment. So choose from between group one, two, and three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards have you drawn through. Okay, so the first one we have Lord Ganeshji. How beautiful. Be candid. I think that says 25 there. Wonderful. As with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. This is a good time for you to test your intuition, see what comes through for you. We've got the 11th house, got the symbol of Aquarius there. I do believe that is the symbol of Uranus. I connect. It says here, this is the house of friendships, groups, and social activities where we are involved. It covers teams, friends, groups, society, technology, projects, and social media, as well as originality, eccentricity, social justice, rebellion, and humanitarianism. Yes, that's a great description, actually. Love that. Okay, we've got expansion. I'm remembering you, group one. I remember loving this group really great energy here beautiful okay and we've got the nine of pentacles upright lovely and we also have for tarot we've got upright the world stunning And we've got the Strength card in reverse. Okay, so for a general read, what are some of the things that I'm seeing here? Well, for a general read, this is just brilliant. So if I'm not looking at the topic of gratitude and I'm just looking at these cards, I'm going, wow, this is wonderful. This is a really, really positive spread. If you aren't in a state right now that feels positive, maybe you're somewhere where you're not in a in positive state, I want you to know that it's coming, okay? Hang in there. Things are going to change. Things are going to turn around. You're going to experience more of this. This energy is here for you. We've got this wonderful social card. And for me, I'm seeing this more actually in terms of opportunities. So your networking is going to bear fruit. If you're single, it's the kind of thing where you might meet someone really special. If you are wanting to start a small business or if there's a certain type of art that you want to learn or something that you want to do where it would be good to connect and work with other people, then that is going to be coming in more and more. But I do see a lot of money actually with this spread as well. Expansion. I mean, it's the universe has given a lot of green lights here and saying, we want you to expand, we want you to grow, we want you to do well. And, and I feel like the resources are going to be given. Look at this, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a great card of, well, I, one of the ways I see this is that it is about the solitary enjoyment of wealth. So it's interesting because you're kind of being given permission to socialize, to network, to expand. We've got expansion here. That adds to 11. That's a master number. We've got 11 here, right? Aquarius, 11th house. We've got a seven here, a nine here. So this is beautiful. All these odd numbers. This is great. We've got the world here. 
And the world card, this comes when, and I, I love the world card because it's like, it's completion. You are completing a cycle and you're stepping through into a new world. So, and that's really classic here. There is one thing that's, if, if I'm looking for something that's, you know, can it, can it all be so positive? It can, but there is, there is a slight blemish here. There is a slight energy here that's not so great. And it's this one. How I'm reading this is just to say you're a bit tired, you know, um, that's all. I think if this was in the upright position, I'd say that you're busy running around doing all this, but you might not be. You might be tired, you might be a little bit burnt out, you might be needing to chill a bit. And that's a good thing. Take time out if you need to. But in the context of gratitude, what do we have here? I'd say that this is a good time for you to take a step back and to be grateful for the money that you do have, for all the times in life where you have been able to expand, for all your friends, for those times in life where you've been able to be you, for those times in life when you have stepped into a new world. It's so important that every now and then, as part of our spiritual work, we take some time and we celebrate the good of the past. So often we're looking at the past in a really negative way, like we're trying to ferret out all the problems or we're trying to, you know, look for a place to lay blame or this is going wrong, why is that? And often the past is a good place to go for that. So yes, that's important, but equally, it's important to look at the past and celebrate, celebrate you know, the achievements we have done, the money we have earned, the times we have expanded. There's so much on this table, there's so much that you have done that I feel like your guides and angels are reflecting back to you right now and saying, could you stop for a moment and look at how amazing you are? Do you do that enough? And we don't do that enough because when we do that, we look and we just go, oh yeah, great, I did that. But when's the next thing coming? You know, it's fleeting. It's really fast when we look and, and when we celebrate the past. We don't typically, I'm going to shuffle these cards. I'm going to twist them all around. I haven't seen anyone else do the twisting around thing, but I do that. I'm going to shuffle them. I'm going to see what random thing pops up to add to this reading because... So far, so good. And I think you've got a huge amount to be grateful for. I think the areas that are a little bit interesting for this reading are Be Candid, this one and this. It's like, so that this is kind of indicating to me, and maybe, maybe you are in some kind of situation where you can't at the moment. If I'm having to look for something negative here, I would say you're tired, you're burnt out, and there's somewhere in your life where you can't fully be yourself. I do see that, but it's I'm getting a huge amount of encouragement from the universe saying, please be yourself, okay? Even though you might have people around you who are trying to dampen your spirit or trying to bring you down or don't like to see you happy, please keep being the happy, radiant, peaceful you that you are. You know, that's so important because you're uplifting the whole by doing that. And some of the people around you may not understand that or appreciate that. That's going to be very much their loss. You gotta you gotta keep moving forward, okay? That's another thing that's really important. You do have to keep moving forward. And you're gonna have many more times like this. I know we're all in a place right now where we feel stuck and we're like, oh, when are things gonna change? We've got Saturn in his own house. I mean, could things just get a little bit more stagnant? I don't know. But big big transformations are happening now. I'm looking at this. Oh wow. Well, that is fantastic. It's upright as well. Gosh, this just keeps, this is such a good spread, guys. King of Wands, you're on fire and your masculine side, look at that red t-shirt, right? He's got, he's got this strong masculine, so this root chakra, creativity, energy, fire. And we've got the lion here and we've got the lion here. Okay, so after this period of you, if you are in a period of burnout or you're a little bit tired, let me tell you, that is not going to go on for too much longer. You are going to be 
quite literally on fire with your creativity. I think you're going to be feeling quite creative. I think you're going to be doing a lot. We've got this red energy here. So whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. I think your root chakra is going to be strong and vibrant and healthy. You're going to be doing a lot. I think you're going to be really creative as well. And it's going to be expanding your world. This is, this is all about expansion. If you're single, this could mean a partner coming in. And this would be someone who is ready and at your level. Okay, this is not a page. This is not a knight. This is not a page that's got a little crush but doesn't want to do anything about it. This is not a knight who gets overwhelmed by their emotions. This is a, this is a king. This is someone who's steady in their energy. This is this is a person who's ready, who's looking for his queen as well. And so if you're a man or woman, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, you can switch out the labels as you like. But he's looking for his counterpart who wants to settle down. And I mean, this is just incredible. So if life looks nothing like this right now, I want to tell you that you are going to manifest it. And you're going to manifest it by keeping focused okay this was something I heard the other day uh, I put it in one of my client emails recently actually it was let me try and quote this accurately it's something like the universe yields to the person who keeps their focus okay so if you maintain your focus on the dream picture which quite frankly is right here and I think one thing to be grateful for is downtime if this isn't here for you just yet, be grateful for the downtime, okay? Because my goodness, you're going to be busy, okay? There's a lot here and it's busy, busy, busy. Like, yeah, so be grateful for the downtime. If you are in downtime, try to relax. Try to be brilliant at relaxing. It's not easy. I find it quite hard to relax. Um, but yeah, I, you know, do do that myself sometimes. And yeah. Um, just great energy here guys so hang in there the dream is on the way i'm serious this is like one of the best spreads i've drawn in ages so thank you so much for tuning in if this has been a good reading for you please let me know in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place Let's take a look at the cards and see what you drew through. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Oh, how beautiful. Varuna, Lord of the Seas. I'm just going to read this out, actually. It says, I bow down to Varuna, who lives in the oceans, is Lord over the aquatic creatures the deity of all liquids. May he ever bring us auspiciousness. How beautiful. Okay, blessings. Navigation of the seas. Success in fishing. Forgiveness for transgressions. Increase in love between man and woman. Wow, that's a great card. So we're off to a flying start. Speaking of flying, I'm pretty sure this is also the name of an airline. Am I right about that? I think there's some small airline somewhere in the world that's called Varuna. No, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I, I don't know. If I find something, I'll put it on the screen. I don't know. Didn't have any time today to do any homework on this. I looked at these very briefly in the morning and now I'm going to look at them more closely now. Okay, so we've got 10th house. We've got the sign for Capricorn and we've got Saturn there. This is the house of fulfillment and social status. Here is where we see structures, corporations, tradition, ambition, public image and fame, discipline, achievements, recognition, rules and father figure. Yeah, father figure definitely, you can see that from the 10th. Uh, I do tend to look at father from the 9th, but 10th is fine too. You can look from both, you know. Uh, let's see, it is also associated with power and authority as well as the people who exert them. I achieve. Yeah, how fantastic. Okay. Oh. And I believe that MC would stand for Midheaven, I think. I've 
got that right but again if I need to put something on the screen I will uh, 30 communication fantastic and this is that kind of pinky purpley sort of the mm, sixth sorry sixth chakra type color so that's quite interesting communication what else do we have uh -huh, we have the knight of cups beautiful I remember you group two I actually gave you an extra card <clears throat> and there's reason why I'll tell you why so you got the three of swords in reverse I wasn't sure if this was reversed or it came out like this so and I was like is that reverse or what so that's why I had to draw an extra card because <coughs> because I wanted to see where the numbers are but you can see here we've got the is that the king that's the king of pentacles so the wording is here but then I thought maybe for the numbers it's on the top I got really confused so then I got an extra card and I thought why don't I just give you an extra card so you're going to get an extra extra card because I'm going to shuffle another card live for you today so let's see you got the eight of pentacles see this is what told me that this card is in reverse so you got the oh no is it the seven it's the seven that's fine so it's the seven of pentacles right okay oh running out of room I know I'll just do that <coughs> mm, apologies about the voice okay really lovely spread I definitely got a vibe that love life should be going well for you guys and if you're single know that love is on the way okay there's this knight of cups he wants to give his cup of love he wants to give love and maybe you might want to give love to someone and this this is beautiful <coughs> apologies about my voice guys i was fine in group number one so maybe group number two somebody there's some chakra clearing i don't know i'm going to leave it in i'm tempted to just start again but i won't i'll keep it in here this card is definitely indicating to me good times in love firstly there's so much water okay N not just water we've got oceans and seas here right so massive water so there's a lot of emotion here forgiveness for transgressions right increase in love between man and woman you're healing you are definitely healing there's this the th three of swords in reverse you're really 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 healing and closing out some big stuff so all around us right now we've got massive cycles crumbling all around us at the moment I was just reading uh, an article that a friend sent me and yes it was all about corporate structures political power this that and all these structures that are crumbling around us so there's that going on but for you personally I think your heart is getting a renewal and there's a closing of a chapter I do think um, closing of a chapter it, it, I, I do think it's got something to do with love it could be a past love that I think you've come to a place where you're grateful for it you know um, I think you've come to a place where you're grateful for all the past for all the past heartbreaks because they have made you who you are and I equally think if you're in a relationship I think you're grateful for all of your partners past loves and failures in their love life you're grateful for your partner's ones you're grateful for your ones because these things have made each of you who you are and I feel there's a real sense of gratitude about your love life coming to a place of massive gratitude about your love life and loving your love life exactly the way it is <laughs> right with all the good things all the good times and the disasters they've all made you who you are they've all made you an incredibly unique and special person it's part of your heritage it's part of who you are and I, I remember one time asking a friend well when do you get over someone completely we were talking about this 
for both of us and she said from her point of view she said well for me I know that I've fully gotten over someone when I can just let the memories be there they can just be there you're not trying to remove them you're not trying to change anything you're happy for everything whatever it is or was you know uh, we've also got some work stuff come through for you as well so we've got the sec seven of pentacles I think you're reassessing I think maybe you're taking a bit of time <clears throat> to just reassess to see okay how am I doing you know if th it feels like maybe there's a little plateau at work or, or there's something where you're reassessing it, and this reassessment might require some communication Maybe you need to speak to your boss about something. Maybe that's important as part of your reassessment. Maybe you're kind of looking at things and thinking, well, you know, if only I could just change into this department or I'd really rather do that or I need to talk to my boss about it. Something along these lines. It's quite possible. We're going to shuffle uh, these cards. And I put the card from group one back in. So you've got a full deck here and we're going to see what comes through <clears throat> yeah i think the voice thing that i was noticing it's interesting it didn't happen in group one it's happening for you guys it happened when i was talking about the love life stuff so yeah some clearing is happening that's good that's good because you know are we ever fully clear i, th I think we i think we get to a place where we're peaceful and we're grateful for, for everything you know okay I'm gonna turn this around I have no idea what it is oh wow cool I love that the three of wands this is great this is the future this is future horizons this is looking forward and I think you're being given some time to strategize about what it is that you really want when it comes to both love and work as well so I think you need and it, there's this pause here as well. I think this might be more about work, the three of wands. And I can see the camera battery is flashing red. So I'm actually gonna wind this one up now because really I think we have covered everything there, but this is a beautiful spread, group number two. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you well. Let me know how that you get on with this reading in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you've drawn through. And as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Okay, so we've got individuality here. I do believe that's Lord Hanumanji. How beautiful. It says here, so we've got individuality, chapter two, verse 12. At no time did I not exist, nor you, nor any of these kings, nor in the future shall any of us cease to be. Okay, it's beautiful. <clears throat> right, you've got this card here. Oh, this one's next. Second house, symbol for Taurus and Venus. This is the house of resources, material possessions, and values. Here is where we see our belongings, wealth, and finances, as well as the pillars on which material, intellectual, and emotional security is developed. I have. Okay. <clears throat> You've also got this lovely card here. 20, is that 25? Let's have a look. Here we go. 26, love. How beautiful. Lord Krishna there. Got these two amazing gods turn up for you. It's quite incredible. Great spread so far. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely stunning. I love the depiction of this in this deck. It's wonderful. Okay, you've got the Page of Pentacles upright. And you've got, oh how amazing, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. 
So look at that, two different decks. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, one in the reverse, one in the upright. So that's pretty incredible. And one of the things that I would say about that straight away is that I think you, one of the things you would be grateful for is the fact that I think you've lived at lots of different financial levels. So what does that mean? So I think you, you must have lived at times, you know, maybe in your childhood or your 20s or even now or when, I don't, I don't know when, but like I feel like you've lived a spectrum of everything from, you know, you've been broke to doing really, really well. Kind of get the sense that you've, you've seen it all when it comes to money. And I feel like, but there's also a gratitude. There's a massive gratitude here about your stuff, about what you have, about what you own. <clears throat> so that is, yeah, your possessions and, and your wealth, your material wealth, but also family, relationships, art, beauty. I feel like you're grateful for a lot of things, actually. And it's interesting, even though I think you've probably experienced every type of wealth level there is, you've come, you've risen to a place where now a new level of wealth is opening up. Okay, so it's like you're embarking on a new journey and there's something new about finances for you or there, there's going to be a new realm or some new thing that you're going to explore. So maybe if you've always worked in jobs all your life, maybe you're doing something new where you're going to earn money in an entirely different way either through your artwork or through a side business or you're going to be contracting maybe that's going to be the change there's some change there's some newness in terms of how you are going to be earning which is pretty exciting and it's going to be great you're going you're going to do well you're going to earn because this really this is uh the deck that when i use this deck um, this is my Saturn deck, okay? So this is like the materializer deck. This is what you're going to materialize. This you're going to materialize. Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. It's incredible. So a whole new level of wealth is going to be opening up, definitely. And I think with this love card, I'm not necessarily seeing this as romantic love. I'm kind of seeing it more as a universal sort of a love because we've got this card of individuality here, I think this is where you feel most comfortable when it's you and the world, you know, when you're being yourself, not necessarily in relation to anyone else. I think when you are fully being yourself, there's an incredible amount of love that you're able to emanate to the world around you. And all of that comes right back to you. Isn't that incredible? So I think when it comes to the gratitude thing, I think you've got gratitude down pat, like you're good at it. You know, you, <clears throat> you know, you know how to, to manifest and materialize. And I think you're going to open up a whole new layer of that, a new level of that. You're going to open up to that very soon if you're not already doing so. So now I've got this deck here. The Lightseers Tarot. Actually, let me make sure. Yes, let me make sure I take the card from group two put that in the middle and i'm going to twist all of these around <clears throat> and we're going to see what comes through so i've been shuffling one extra card for everybody i like some random element one day i'd like to do just the whole thing totally random i should do that i've heard from some people that they quite like when the cards are all pre-selected because it saves time but yeah who knows, I'll, tr I'll try something new eventually. You know me, I'm always experimenting. All right, uh, let's see. I have no idea what this is. Uh-huh, the world in reverse. Oh, how interesting. This is fascinating. I'd love it if it was in its upright position. <laughs> if it was, then I could with a lot of confidence say that you are stepping into that new level of that new level of abundance that you seek. But when it's in its reverse position, that can be indicating that there might be some kind of blockage or 
a resistance. Maybe there's some internal resistance or something to allowing this massive abundance to come in. Let's draw some more cards and see what comes through. I'm curious now <laughs> and we have time as well. So I want to clarify on the world, please. Let's see what we get. This one was poking up. Okay. Wow, the moon. Yeah, I think you need a bit of time just to go within. Uh, go within and really feel that, that sense of love and gratitude. You need to really embody that and feel that. I think that's going to be the thing that unblocks this, if you know what I mean. Let's take a look and see if I'm right about that. If Okay, so if you embody some introvert time, some classic kind of me time, you're away from everybody, I think you need, this is kind of hermit, but it's, it's going deep into the subconscious. There's something about you being alone. We've got this individuality card. So if you do that, let's take a look and see. Is that going to be the remedy? Is that going to be the thing that you need to do? Okay, I think I'm going to take this one. Oh, fantastic. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. It's going to be a slow journey. You're going to create this. This new, this is not this new level of wealth, this is not like winning the lottery, <laughs> okay? This is going to be you chipping away at something over quite a period of time. I think you're going to need time on your own to do it, and you are going to do it. This is not some kind of, in the previous group that I was just doing, I got a real sense that they could benefit from from, was it the previous group? I think it was the one where there was Aquarius. And that, 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 that group could really benefit from networking. This is not you. You're, no, you need to be, and so probably what it is you're doing, I know I've got a lot of artists who tune into these, so I, I feel like you, this might be your art. This is, this, this is a solo journey, whatever's happening here. And you are about to tap a whole new layer of abundance, new wealth, all these new beautiful things. It's abundance. It, on the table, it is going to take time. And you're going to have to, it is about, there's something about you being isolated and taking the time and being realistic. And I mean, that, that is going to be enough to unblock things if you're feeling blocked or stuck. Uh, it's, it's just that. It's a beautiful spread, guys. And there's, look at how much blue-green is on the table. So much. So you, you guys are definitely... You, yeah, individuality, you need to speak, you need to sing, you need to put it down on paper, you need to build it, you need to create it, you need to, there's something within you that needs, and it's unique, it is so unique and it's so individual, and it's going to be a gift to the world, you just have to keep going, big message here, just keep going, the abundance is there, and if you feel that things are tight and it's like, no, I could do with the abundance now, have the faith, all right, have the faith first and the stuff you need will come in. It really will come in. The only reason it's not coming in is because you have everything you need to do, because the bit you need to do, only you can do. And it involves you sharing yourself with the world. That's the bit that has to be done first. And faith as well and trust, you got to do all of that first. And then the stuff's going to come in, all right? It's, it's definitely going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. So keep chipping away. You are doing amazing. Okay, group number three. So I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this. I'm really excited for you. I'm feeling the energy here, but it's a slow burn, okay? It's not coming in overnight. That's, that's what's pretty clear here. But that's better because... I've seen this happen to people who succeed too quickly. Their life, I've seen this happen, that their life becomes meaningless. They're like, oh God, what am I supposed to do now? You know, I have seen that and I'd much rather a slow journey. That's what I know. That's, that's what I'm discovering as well. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I love reading all your comments. So please let me know how you got on with this below. And 
I look forward to seeing you next time. 